so far our code looks good but the code is not very readable so in this session we are going to make it object oriented programming so there is a thing called object oriented programming or oops so we are going to make it such that it follows the oops principle which is basically converting this into classes and objects so let's get started here you see a huge block of code in your main function itself usually when you're working on proper python projects you don't write so much code in your main entry point so you would have things like all right what if i have a class called game okay and this is how you define class if you don't know about classes and objects you can follow my python video on classes and objects and you will get an understanding that's like a prerequisite here this is a constructor so we'll write constructor but what if in my main method here i have only two line of code and that code will be you create an object of a game and you just say game dot run okay and here of course you will have a run function and we'll implement all these functions but this is my idea i want to have only two line of code in my main method and everything else should be classes and objects all right so let's start moving all of this code into your classes so the pi game in it of course this will go into your game initialization then the next thing you have is a surface so this surface will also go into your game initialization and i will make this surface a class member and when you do self dot something you're making that a class member so that later on the surface is available here as well okay so that's the idea all right so we move that okay we have block which we will look into a little later uh but let's see if there is anything else nope that's it all right so so far game looks good now the block is something we are building to build our snake ultimately so then how about we build a class called snake okay and that class this class will have that block object so let me move all this here so again i will do say self dot block and then um, self dot x is 100 self dot y is 100 all right so this way i get rid of that that code so see you now kind of get a get a feel of this process where you have written some experimental code and when it works you want to convert it into a object oriented code and this is how you do it all right now when you see this is like drawing the block so i want to draw the block so in my snake method maybe i can add draw function you know so when you say snake snake dot draw it will just uh, draw that snake so right now a snake is just one block okay here i need a parent surface but i don't have that so generally when you're doing class programming you want to pass that surface as an argument in this function or the other option you have is you store it as a class member so i'm just going to call that surface a parent screen and i will store it in a new class member called parent screen okay and when i draw it i will say self dot parent screen dot blit and this block has to be self dot block and this x and y has to be self dot x self dot y all right okay so 
now you know this game see this game is kind of the main object and game is having a snake inside it so you have a game game has a snake so for that for that reason i will create a snake inside my game class so i created a snake inside my game class now snake constructor expects parent screen so what is my parent screen self dot surface okay and once that is done i want to draw the snake all right so this looks good so far so by the way when you draw this you are drawing this so we are kind of replacing this function so that draw function is exactly this draw so there were two mo more things that we wanted to do which is fill and um, see this this line will come in the middle okay and this will be self dot surface dot fill and this will be pygame.display so when you have snake and when you say snake dot draw it will draw the snake or a block on the surface so now we remove this function as well okay what is left now okay a main event loop is left so this main event loop I will copy this in a run function. Okay, because like run function is kind of the main function. So we are running the event. Let's look at it. Okay, here I don't have access of block X and draw block, etc. Right? Uh, so what do we do? But we have access of snake object. So so snake. Alright, so let's do this. So when you click when you do left click you want to move the snake to left so what if we have a function called move left so that i don't have to worry about all this when you say move left it should move left when you press right key it should move right don't you think this will be amazing it will make code so much readable so move right i'm just typing these methods they don't exist but i'm going to write them this is how you do object oriented programming move down okay so i need to write all these methods in my snake class now so let's write that method so move left Okay, what do you do when you move left? We saw in a previous session, moving left means you are just changing a position of X because your Y is same. So I will just do self dot X minus 10, you know, subtract 10 pixels from your X so that your block moves on the left hand side. Once it is subtracted, you want to draw it. And for drawing, there is a method. So you can see your code is becoming more readable. It kind of makes sense in your brain, right? Moving left is subtracting by 10 and then drawing it. Previously, code was little cryptic. And similarly, you can, uh, you can maybe implement the rest of the method. See, move right, move up and down. Okay, so it's very, very easy, very easy to understand now. So when you read your code, see, you're starting your your python program first you're creating game game says run okay what does run do run is running your event loop in the event loop you are having snake you're moving left and right so code is more readable now and when you right click and run this okay snake object doesn't have an attribute self dot surface yeah, it doesn't have self dot so it has self dot parent screen actually. So I'm pressing left and right key and the block is moving. I did not make any functionality change, but in this session, 
we did an amazing thing which is converted a programming to object oriented programming this is needed if you want to become a good programmer a good programmer can write program in object oriented programming method and the code is readable maintainable you know when you work for big companies the code bases are very big so when new person joins already there are million lines so if code is readable like see right now code is more readable then it helps so oops or object oriented programming concepts makes you a better programmer that's why that's why i think that this session is very very important so i hope you all learned all these lessons in the next session we are going to uh, continue our game, game development uh, if you like these videos please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends uh, this python project is very very important if you have just learned basic python concepts this could be your first python project all right so thank you